Three, set. What's up, three guys? What, what's up, guys? <laughs> what? What's you up, say guys? Three, seven. <laughs> Whatever, man. One, two, <laughs> seven. Fucking who cares? What's up, One, guys? Uh, uh, uh. Welcome back. The third person. This is the third person podcast. You sure? We, we, uh, yeah, I am. With me as always are my buddies Mike and Jesse. How's it going? From Yemen. From Yemen, yeah, guys. We're gonna be discussing with our faces uh, season seven, episode eleven of The Walking Dead. Or our mouths. With our fucking. So this was an episode, huh? How about that, guys? This is a di Jesse. Come on, get it together, what? man. This was an episode. This was, guys. This okay. was Jesse's favorite episode. Actually, he says. He, oh, I don't if believe you, that. If you see the review, he gave the he gave it. Um, our review only goes to five. He gave it a uh, a nineteen. I don't. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't Twenty maybe. Why. I mean, I didn't even have to average it. I just added them all together. You just added them all together, and it came out <laughs> to seven. Guys, uh, so okay, Eugene. We got Eugene. We got Eugene. You got Eugene and you got Negan. And you got we got team Team Two Star. So Negan and Dr. Star. Team Three Pan. Star. Right? What are we doing? Where are we going with this? You wanna talk about uh, what do you want to talk about? A friend Eugene or you wanna to go to a, a burnt friend uh buddy? Well, let's Dwight. give them a description of it first. Oh yeah. Well this is what and happens. The name guys. and the title of the episode. Who cares? It's called Hostiles and Calamities, all right? Although, episode eleven. I said that already. Did you? Yeah, you weren't listening, man. I don't think so. I, I said that, absolutely. Let's go to the videotape. Anyway, this is Eugene is unwillingly Eugene unwillingly begins to work for Negan and the saviors at the sanctuary. Meanwhile, Dwight pays a visit to a place from his past. Yes. Uh, you know, which is interesting because he ha like I mean, again, with time skips, we don't know, but like he just goes yeah. right. Like, did they live close to the sanctuary? Yeah, like, they must have. They must have been close or relatively close. Right. I mean, I was I, like, I was thinking the same know. thing. Was he know? gone for days and days? And he wasn't gone for that long because all that shit took place with 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 Eugene, with Eugene and, and the girls. Yeah. Like, it was all the same yeah. night that he got there. So could have been. He could have been gone a day or something. I, but I mean, really, day, he could, he, yeah. could, he could have drove away for an hour or two, and it's still relatively. A, a way, you know, a little bit away. Yeah, you know, it's it, not honestly, how many people tra traversed the country like Rick and the group did? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Negan certainly didn't. Yeah, no, they, I don't think so. Stayed. You know, I think they were all there, so pretty much everyone's from the same state. So, um, I mean, since we're talking about Dwight, let's just talk about Dwight. Um, mm -hmm. you know, a couple things happen. He finds the note that Sherry left. She she basically was like, "I'm I'm done. I'm out." She says, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna survive. I know that, whatever." Yeah. But she just leaves. She says, "Being dead is better than being in the sanctuary." All right, we get that. Yeah. You know. So either says, "Bye, honey," or "Sorry, honey." I forget. She says, it's, "Yeah." She says, "Bye, honey." Bye, but, honey. These are wedding rings. Yeah. You know. But I thought um, her name. But I didn't. But her name isn't Honey. God dang it. <laughs> so anyway, okay, yeah. that's my joke, yeah. guys. That's yeah, it. That's Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Yeah, no. This, like, let, let, let me get, chime into this because this is one of the this the the better scenes that I felt. Um, obviously, um, Sherry knew, and they, and and Dwight knew that they had a plan. That if anything, you know, obviously Dwight knew exactly where she was going to go. So when when we when we see him at their original house or whatever it was with the note was kind of touching. But the big thing was, and I said it during during the live reaction was. Um, how Sherry says Dow reminded her of what Dwight used to be. Fucking okay. yeah, and I think kick that was like nuts. yeah, Let's that was kick like him a in the big nuts there, shot. Then the next scene, he's throwing Dwight's throwing or fucking, poor Eugene, you know, uh, yeah. throwing shells out of out of the the dressers and whatnot. But yeah, it gave it gave um you know my one my one question that I thought was that you know that I thought about was why didn't they plan this together? You know yeah, I mean? why did she? Why did she just? Because she why said she, she. Because she said he changed, and it's my. And she yeah. says, "I'm yeah, sorry for that. I made you change." Well, I guess then she really and truly felt that there was no going back. That this is the kind of man he would. So that if she was to come to Dwight and say, "Listen, let's do this. Let's let Daryl free. He's not a bad dude, and let's escape together." I guess she assumed that that he would. That 
he wouldn't. Meanwhile, yeah. remember all those those little trysts they had in the hallway smoking the cigarette? That's what I'm saying. That's what I think would be the perfect He was always like he was always the one that was like, "Oh, you know, like trying to be like nice to her and stuff." And she yep. was like, uh, "No, this isn't going to work." Nothing's happening. Way. That's exactly what I was thinking. That, you know, that, so it's like, that, "Fuck you. Exact, fuck her. Yeah. You know what? Fuck her." So he tells he tells Negan that they she ran away from him and ran into a fucking horde of walkers and died. Which yeah. is bullshit. But I wish well, she it was got true. bit and he had to kill her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he blamed the fucking doctor, which was pretty fucking sneaky on his part by ripping up the yeah. note and putting, you know, goodbye, honey, or whatever. And, you know, yeah. um, and, you know, not for nothing, but that, that part was, you know, Mike, it's funny because you mentioned in the review, I think you were saying how you didn't, you thought that that particular use of that iron, you know, but, um, I just want to go on record by saying, like, that is a cast iron iron you know like that's yeah. a yeah that it's that's a regular is... iron wouldn't get that hot it would like it would melt like that that's stainless it steel that would hot. melt in a fire that hot you needed nah. a cast iron fucking monopoly that's what it piece, is you know yeah that's what it is yeah yeah so for that uh you know they could have did the switch you know when they were t- when when nigga was picking up the physical the iron out of the flame they could have went to their little red spray paint or whatever it looks like that they sprayed on the fucking, on this thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's, there's a couple little things that just kind of annoys me. And I think we were kind of, uh, I think we, we all kind of agreed when, when Negan put the iron to the one guy's face, the, uh, Oh yeah, it, it was, it, it, it was underwhelming. It, like yeah. it was absolutely so underwhelming. That's what I've been saying. I mean, despite, despite how great this show is with Nicotero and and how he CGI makes these walkers. Life. Yeah, it seems like I don't know if the the budget or there's something to do with maybe you know like the Game of Thrones thing. All right, we won't show Ghost because we're we're showing uh, Daenerys Three drags. Drag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or I hope they don't get to that. But it was lacking in a couple things like that. And I mean, even the Doctor when after Negan threw him into the into the um, furnace mm-hmm. was. It was kind of just like they put us some pants, like a scarecrow, and you would put it in your front yard for fucking just yeah. a pair of legs hanging out of the, you know. So it was, know. it was, it was a fucking pair of legs. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was, but yeah. to not, you know, get too crazy into into that. Um, what do I you? Mean, well, what do you, Jesse? We didn't really hear much about what. What do you think of the whole Dwight? I mean, it makes sense. They're setting obviously Sherry up for her comic. That that's a given. They're setting the white up for his comic like area, and it takes a little bit of preparation. So it flowed really well to me, like between the note and framing the doctor who knew too much about their situation. So, yeah, he was like he was sticking his fucking shit into the, he he shouldn't have been fucking. He, he was playing psychiatrist even though he's a freaking physical doctor. Yeah, he shouldn't have been. He shouldn't yeah. have. He got. He got what was coming to him. Yep. Yeah. In my, in my humble opinion. Um, I mean, I, I kind of wanted to see somebody burn anyway. So there we go. Oh, he saw it. There we go. You. He huh? literally got burnt. Uh, Eugene, you want to head over to Eugene? Fucking crying little twat. The video game nerd or the crying yeah. scientist? <laughs> Listen, okay. He's not lawful. He's not chaotic. All right, he's he's not a, he, his alignment is he's he's just straight he's up neutral. Not neutral chaotic. I'm I'm not neutral good. But we'll see how much of a game he's playing. You know, I mean, obviously he's protecting his ass now, and that's Eugene's mo. That's what he did when he met when he met Abraham. You know, he lied about being this. You know, this uh, scientist from the genome from the project. Was you know, you know, Gene Ford, yeah, that uh, was. Yeah. I was a scientist for the Human Genome Project, yeah. and yeah. So we know that he knows how to manipulate with his words, and he's good at that kind of a thing. But after all the crying and the whimpering, every... I mean, honestly, I understand it. You're in this new place. You got Negan swing, you know, having a, a swing and a bat around. And, you know, obviously I can understand where he's coming from, but it seems like he overdid it, like, immensely by how... All this little... The, the crying and the whimpering thing, that kind of... Well, you got to remember, first and nuts. foremost, he is a nerd. And I know, but still, being I a mean, nerd like that, you get scared we, we pretty see, easily we, around uh, intimidated people or intimidating we, people. I just felt like it was just a little overdone. I mean, it was the, the you, you know you guys are right with this with the scenes where he's sitting in the lazy boy and he's playing fucking Atari, and it's funny that they gave him an Atari because that probably would have been more around his generation. It wouldn't have been <laughs> an Xbox or something like that. Right, yeah. Honestly, that, I was you thinking, know? you know what? They're probably after this scene. 
after he said he's not chaotic good and all that, they're usually going to see like a D&D board in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, you know, the manipulation with the girls, I know all of us with, with uh, you know, with the girls, with uh, Negan's wives, um, we were all questioning what their motives were, and obviously... And then when they said it, two, then we knew. Yeah, yeah they said they wanted yeah. to make two of the fucking exactly. things, yeah. Exactly, and, and, you know, Eugene wasn't having that. But obviously, with the confidence that he showed to them, like, he won't believe you if you go and tell him that I was, that I was making these pills or whatever... Um, I think it was still a little flawed because when Negan knocked on his door, Eugene still looked like he was going to piss his pants. Like maybe these girls did say something and maybe they didn't believe him. I mean, he could have had the confidence he had going in there to that uh, collection bin, getting the flu suppressors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the the bedpan and the fucking... What's your yeah. number? 16? Well, you don't know who I am, bitch. You know, but... Uh. Yeah, so, I mean, really, you know... This the episode was very um, like we all said it's very Negan was Negan in this episode and and we everybody saw, played their parts well yeah exactly and Dwight is I mean Dwight I liked his, I like his character you know no, also knowing a little bit from the comic book and where he eventually goes and where his character leads um, it'd be you know it's gonna be good to see where it goes and where he goes in the show compared to the comic because. Um, I have a little thing, idea about Sherry too, and I'm wondering where she may end up. You know, not even going into the comic, but just where we can see her going. You know, within the show itself. Let so me. Did we uh, learn? Oh, go ahead. No, yeah. Let me. I want to ask you guys a question. It, um, do, as far as Eugene, you, all right. So mm-hmm. Eugene, we see Eugene return to form towards the end of the episode, meaning that. Initially, his whole thing was he needs to find someone to latch onto to to protect him and to help him survive because yeah. he knows he can't. There's a symbiotic relationship, yeah. So again, he returns to form here. Um, only this time, it seems like he may even be in his element because now he gets to pretend to be the guy that he says he was. Meanwhile, they That's weren't. True. So, so my question yeah. to you is, um, like, uh, damn, I, I, I kind of lost it as as I was explaining it, but. I mean, do you think, do you Where think that this is, up? do you, well, no, no, like, but do you think like that's his, is he really, is he really like, on board he, with Megan? Did, yeah, like didn't, because didn't, when he was with that group, he was becoming something more than that. And now he's kind of gone back to like that. It's, it's his, it's his well, survival mechanism. I get it. But like, do you guys believe that? Do you guys believe he's really well, gone? Let's not like, get into it. Let's maybe maybe do a, a, a theory about that. Maybe we'll do a separate video for him. I have two things here, rather. Um, do you remember the little video we did about the preview images for The Walking Dead? Yeah, uh, yes. Do you remember what one of those images was? Is that teddy bear? That you guys couldn't it? figure out what it was. Wasn't it like that teddy bear or something? Wrong. It was the melted walkers. The casted walkers. Oh, well, oh, I, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's None it. of us could figure it out. That's true. And it was the cast at Walkers. Also, that, Eugene apparently has a thing for pickles. Well, he likes That's pickles. Right. Yeah. Well, who doesn't like pickles? I love pickles. <laughs> you know, and those look like those look like good homemade pickles. Those are crunchy pickles. Those are crunchy ass pickles. You know. Um, I don't know, man. I just uh, I, I I I like that whole idea though. I like how he was, how he. He does, you know, we're going to, you could do this, you could do this, you can reinforce them this way, you could put this stuff over their head. Um, kind of interesting that it, uh, two episodes in a row where we see a walker with their head covered so they don't get their heads bashed in, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. But then again, why would, if you were preserving walkers, of course you would do that. That's like co- common sense. I will say though, I do like, I like, I like Eugene's mind. I like how it works and I like, I like what comes out of his face. You know, I like the words, the, the strings of words that he puts together to form his sentences. Like, I like that. I like hearing him talk. Um, he is first and foremost, again, using freaking Eugene, uh, a, a nerd. Yeah. Absolutely, 100% unequivocally a nerd. But it, it just sounds good. It doesn't sound like he's trying <laughs> to be smart. It's just how he speaks, you know? Yeah, no, he's a good actor, and obviously that that could be, you know, with his dialogue, it can be easily screwed up or not believable if it was right. somebody else. Say, That's my point. I think it's, yeah. it's very believable that he's. I forget his name, but I, he's been on Talking Dead a few times, 
And they say, like, occasionally he'll slip into Eugene and go around the set doing that. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's pretty good. He's I a mean, funny they, dude, because he's a funny dude. They have yeah. some, you know, they have good actors on the show. I mean, I that's what makes a number one show, you, you know, despite, you know, how His we feel about... His name is McDermott, about, right? Isn't it Josh yeah, McDermott? Yeah, Josh McDermott. Josh McDermott, Josh McDermott yeah. So despite what we feel about certain episodes and how we, certain episodes are lacking or we know we're upset with, you know, the show is still surrounded by, you know, very good actors. So yeah. well, obviously, it, you know, obviously it comes out. So. Save for a few bad eggs. Yeah. You know, so we, we all saw the preview for the next episode. Um, and it's like it looks like a Rick and Michonne and it looks like they're on some type of road. Trip. And Rosita. Yeah. OK, there's a little bit of Rosita. But I want to talk. About, I mean, obviously, we didn't see the episode, but I just want to broadly say. I don't know. Seeing that preview, knowing what what's happened, like I don't know where they're going with this stuff, and it just seems like it may be like I wasn't really impressed, like with that with the previews for the next, and I'm like, yeah, I I I feel like they might be starting to go like we don't need that next episode. Why are we Why are we going to get an episode with Michonne and Rick out and about? Looking like they're having it's, fun chasing I think walkers. They're stalling and, for time. But that's honesty. my point. Why are we yeah, doing this? Why the fuck exactly. are we doing this? Why are we seeing Rosita again sitting down and saying the same shit she, she said yeah. in the first half of You're the right. season? To a You're new right. person in a flannel shirt. Exactly. Like she she did that already with what's his face? Uh-huh. The the son. Well, that's, what the, uh, Spencer. 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 She already did oh. that. Like Chode Nugget, I, as you like to call him. Chode Nugget. Right? I agree, right. dude. They're walking a tight. They're walking a tight. Why are we doing line, this? Why know? are we doing? We need to just move, I told move you. it forward. Second oh. half of, of season, of season eight, eight will yeah, be the I, time yeah. skip. Well, that's what I said. I said at least at least the time, at least a a, a, a season and a half. Well, wait, I was hoping know. they'd wrap it up here. It's gonna end up being you're gonna have probably the beginning of the war. At the, at right, the end at of the, the season. Last this episode, this is like ramping up to be my prediction. Remember when I said the first grenade lobs in next to a house, it cuts to Judith crying right. in her crib. Yeah. You're right. I, I mean, it could. You know, it could. It could just yeah, be just like that. Off, that man. that gunshot goes off for the races, you know, and then it, and then episode oh. the, the last episode of this season ends, and then we have to wait, you know. But that was my biggest complaint the whole friggin' before we started doing this in this in you know this this half. I was saying I want this to fucking speed up. You know how long are we gonna draw out the war, and how long is it you gonna know what? take? You're and right. I hope. You know, dude. I mean, look, they this do- show has been good for so many seasons for for a reason and they are on a tight line a very fine line about losing viewers and and making the show you know lose out and and lackluster yeah that's how i'm you know i'm getting these little little hints and i hate to even do that because i love the show so much but it seems like these last couple seasons have been very repetitive. You know, the groups are always split. The, the episodes always split back and forth. All right, Rick and Michonne's out here, or Rick and, and these 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 characters are here. You know, and, and it's very mimicky. But you know, but, some, but more than that, more than that, it's not just it's it's those elements, and but then also it's these elements of like we're getting to know what they feel. We already fucking know how they feel. why do we have it to is. go and see rick and michonne have this conversation together yes i like that they're together they've had they've had little conversations here yeah. and there about what's happening and how they are together and what what are they going to do together and but we don't need yeah. more we don't need it anymore we yeah. fucking know how everybody feels we know how know. we know what everyone is like in this episode we know exactly. all of the characters I think been already. listening to the fans too much because some fans think that we're not getting enough backstory but what and backs the we have minor- You don't backstory. need backstory the, the on, on, is, on these The characters. vocal minority will always outdo the non-vocal majority. A lot yeah, of us get, already I know the backstory. I a lot you, of us don't but care. I honestly I don't, don't think it's that. I think it's. I think they're trying to drag the shit out just to have just or to feel the so vote on the episode. Their flair for writing. We're gonna so have thirteen too. episodes. So I can I can see that I can see that with characters like Morgan and Carol who I've been really upset with lately. I can I'm gonna it's gonna be annoying if it's just more and more episodes go through where Carol's like, no, 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 no. How many times did we see Carol fucking no 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 I can't do blah 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 and same thing with Morgan. You know, I just wanna, you know, be I can't kill anymore. Well guess what, asshole? Give me a fucking break. I know, dude. I know. Without ranting anymore, I think that's you know, I think we kinda that's yeah, anyway, so this that, episode, that, but 
that's another that's a, a rant for this episode yeah. um anything else uh that really i mean that was it i i did enjoy the end jesse i know you said you liked the very end i like i also like the very end when he's talking to to dwight um and he's got his lab coat and the stupid little fucking uh teddy bear thing and give me dump or whatever yeah Sock you know like pop. It's, it, like I said, there was and some a, fun. A he's fun. He's a fun guy. Like when he's showing the girls how to do that stuff, and he's all awkward, and you know, he you know he doesn't know yeah. how to get his, his dick sucked, you know. But it's like, it's funny. It's it was it was a decent episode. Again, it was a slow one. It would this would have been a good episode had, like, well, I guess last episode was supposed to be an action packed episode. They normally do this stuff after like action packed episodes. But well, la- yes, last week's was not that action packed. Action packed as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just, plot advanced. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, whatever. whatever. But if you guys haven't seen a review from last week, you know what? And it's hilarious because everybody did not like that episode. Taking vets, we get to see Oceanside soon. No, I'm not. Yeah, but we have to. <laughs> what do you mean, man? Yeah. We have to. <laughs> I mean, within the next two episodes, soon. Probably, probably within. The next well, couple. she mentioned it. You know, in that preview, she mentioned guns again, Rosita. So, and I, I yeah. think she was talking to Tara because Tara's the only one that wears flannel. Yep. Think about it. Anyway, all right, guys, let's let's fucking let's be done. Right? Let's so wrap it. Let's be fucking done, mm-hmm. guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this discussion episode. If you haven't seen the review or the live reaction videos for this episode, go ahead and check those out. Leave your comments on there. And if you didn't know, we are also now on iTunes. So if yes. you're watching the video version of this on YouTube, awesome. Thank you. You can see our faces and what we look like when we talk. Or if you if you want, you can also pick this pick it up on iTunes. It's free over there. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a uh, leave a rating for us, so we know how you like it. And plus, more people will get to see it over over there. Uh, so yeah, and also we we don't want to forget our friends from ComicBlitz.com. Jesse, what do we got for them? All right. So if you ever find yourself lacking comics, go over to ComicBlitz.com. Use the promo code Third Person Pod and get yourself unlimited comics from a selection of over forty five hundred titles for three dollars. For three months and it's that simple it's a dollar but a wait. month a dollar a, a dollar month, month. <laughs> it works out too but wait they got an announcement within a week we are expecting to have the android app for comic blitz that's right it's going to be expanding from ios desktops laptops to finally an android device yep so you Wowzies. got no damn excuse there's no excuses yep. to not be reading these comics for free that's it well, well, three dollars for three months. I mean, you know, you pay three bucks, you get the, yeah. you know, it's... get your friggin' bin, John. Check out Comic Blitz, third That's person right. pod in the, the promo code. Damn box. right. That's gonna do it for us here, third person. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it. We love to see all your comments in in the comment section. <laughs> That's where they go, <laughs> I guess. Uh, That's right. So uh, we'll see you next time um, on uh, on our discussion video. So thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you then. Bye. Later. <laughs>